so what's up guys yeah welcome back again so today i'm going to show you how you can deal with shape files within quantum gis i'm going to show you how you can add the shape file i'm going to show you how you can create your own shape file bit point bit line and then bit polygons yeah that's what i'm going to show you today so after opening up your quantum gis and then create a new project and then save it as uh, let me save it as Luero then say okay so this is my quantum GIS and then I'm going to add the what a shape file it is always good practice to define your coordinate system so I'll come here and then I select this coordinate system and then I say okay yeah so yeah when I come to layer add layer you come to layer add layer and then add vector layer and then you can yeah so when you reach here you can see there are many files we have the cpg files the dba files the prj file the shape file the shx files the evf and it is an etc so here is our shape file but if you cannot see it when the files are many you can come to all files and then you select s3 shape file and then it will show select it and then say open and then add so here it is prompting me to convert from this to this coordinate kind of system i'll say okay then i'll say close so this is my shape file as you can see a shape file may have attributes so to check the attributes of the shape file you right click on this shape file and then say open attribute table and then check the attributes of the what of the shape file and actually some layers or some shape files have multiple and many attributes and when you open the attribute table you will be able to see all the information so you can right click this shape file and then click properties yeah and then you can select information and then you can be able to know the coordinate system of the shape file the extent etc etc and other what information yeah so actually you when you see this shape file you can do more and more and more lots of stuff you can actually export it into another shape file and then you can even project its coordinate system click export say feature as you can select either s3 shape file whatever you want to export it you select the name where you save it let me say new shape file yeah, and then you can also select the coordinate system and then select whatever i want to project it into and then take this add save the file to map and then say okay yeah so as you can see here is a new shape file yeah so you can also create a new shape file you just need to come to layer create layer so since this is a polygon for the new shape file i'm going to create a point so when I say create layer, I say new shape file layer. So my file name, when I come here, I browse, I'll call it points. Yeah. So here the geometry type, it can be a point, they can be multi points, lines and polygons. So I'll select points. Then I'll select the coordinate system as this, WJ84. And then I can add an attribute to the attribute table. I can call it. Let me say I'm going to collect like police station. So I can say city. And then it is a text, of course. I add to the field. And then I can say number of officers. Number of officers, it's a. Oh. Let me just say officers. So officers, it is a whole number. Uh, the precision can change the precision and the length. Then you add to field, and then let me just use that, and then I say okay. Yeah. So here is what. Here is a new point layer.
in case you want to add a point layer you just right click on this you click on it and then come here then you to go editing you see and then when you to go editing you come here you select add point feature and then you click there so they'll ask you what is the id the id is default even if you don't put it so let me say my city is Kampala and then the officers let me say they are three then i say okay so i'm just creating fictitious data let me assume we have another police station here the id is two then the city is kalagala and then how many police officers are there are there four yeah then i say okay and then after i come here to do editing do you want to save the changes save yes yeah so you can actually also add a line feature you say layer create layer you shape file layer uh, this time i'm creating a line and then you come here and then select a line the connect system you can add attributes but for now i'm not going to add then say okay and then i come to this line then i click to go editing and then i add a line let me assume there is a road connecting these two points like this so i'll add it like that then okay i'll say id one then i say okay so that is the line connecting those two points basically this is a fictitious line it's not there i've just created it for demonstration what purposes yeah so yeah i hope that is fine today i've covered how to add a new shape file and then how you can make a new shape file.